Alright, let's take a moment to talk about the story behind me and my pajamas. For those of you who don't know, or for those of you who don't even know me in real life, I wear pajamas to school very often, and I actually wouldn't be surprised if some people at my school only know me as the guy who wears pajamas every day. Now, I don't literally wear pajamas every single day of my life, but I do wear them quite a bit, and I have some pretty good reasoning for it. So when I was in seventh grade, one day my sister came home from school and was talking to me about how one of her friends wears Crocs every single day to school, and he was just known for wearing Crocs because he really liked Crocs and he thought they were comfortable and a lot of people actually found it pretty funny and some people gave him grief for it some people thought it was awesome but he just did it every single day because he liked wearing them and those were his favorite shoes and so that day she said to me you know what John you should be known for something like that like you should do something that's your own thing that no one else does because you know that's pretty cool like why be like everyone else when you can have your own unique thing and at the start I thought that idea of doing something different than the rest of the crowd and doing something different than everyone else was kind of weird why would I want to look different than everyone else that would just be weird I would just be drawing attention to myself but since I live in Washington it got pretty cold so I started wearing sweatpants a lot in middle school and I wore sweatpants almost every single day and then I started wearing pajamas because I ran out of clean sweatpants to wear and then by the end of eighth grade and the start of ninth grade I started wearing pajamas pretty much every single day because we live in Washington and it's really cold here and so for the rest of my high school career I wore pajamas pretty much every day because they're comfortable and I can just chill and be myself in them and as a matter of fact I actually started to embrace this that people knew me for wearing pajamas because no one else does that I used to just do and wear what everyone else wore but then I started to realize by the time I got to high school that what's the fun in that now there's a difference between being yourself and being a special snowflake I never wanted to consider myself a special snowflake and do these different things just to get attention I wore pajamas because I wanted to and because they were comfortable for me and that's what I felt like I wanted to go to school in but you see, there's only one issue with wearing pajamas every day, and that is that Washington isn't freezing cold all the time. It's freezing cold six to eight months out of the year, but it's not freezing cold every single day. So, you know, sometimes you just got to adapt. And I got sick and tired of going to school and sweating every single day in my long pajama pants. So uh, junior year, I decided to adapt and I made my own custom pajama shorts. Now, some people gave me a little bit of grief for my pajama shorts because they either looked dumb or they were criticizing my cut job on the end of the pants. But you see, I like that style and it's really not hard to do. I'll, I'll actually show you guys right now. All you do is you take some scissors, you take your pajama pants, you pick a spot, and you start slicing away and you don't have to be precise at all you just cut it and then by the time you're done you can wear them whenever you want without dripping in sweat by the end of the day but you see you have to be very careful in the pajamas that you wear at home and at school because one does not wear camo pajama pants to school it's just it's not a thing you just don't do that so if I wake up and I forget that I have on my camo pajama pants from sleeping that night I immediately change them into either my Ninja Turtle one my plaid ones my pajama shorts whatever it may be and the best thing about my pajama shorts is if you're at school and you get too hot and you're dripping sweat in class you can just stand up whip them off and you have on your pajama shorts and if your pajama shorts get too hot and you're still sweating because you're a sweaty dude you can rip them off and you have on your ninja turtle pants so yeah that's the story behind me and my pajamas hopefully you guys enjoyed hopefully you guys now understand why I like to wear pajamas and uh have a good day. All right, everybody, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. That was a lot of fun to make, and I've, I've kind of been wanting to tell that story for a while now, but the reason I made this is because a while back, I saw my friend Turner. Uh, if you guys don't know who Turner is, I'll link him in the description. Turner, you might even be watching this right now, so what's up? But uh, I saw Turner make a video called like a two hour film challenge or a two hour short film or something like that. And essentially what he did was he went around for two hours just around his city where he lives and shot as many cool shots as he could. He added some music in the background and made a cool little vlog or film out of it. And he didn't challenge anyone, but I kind of wanted to do this just for fun because I thought that was a really good idea. So props to you, Turner. That's actually a really awesome and fun idea. But what I'd like to do is I'd like to turn this into a challenge, okay? So I challenge uh, Obey Jylos. So Jylos, if you're watching this, I challenge you and I challenge 
Raiji. Uh, I want this to be a little train thing where you guys challenge your friends who might be interested in film or vlogging or whatever it may be. It's not like a competition, it's just a fun friendly challenge just to see what people can put out in under two hours. So that's the goal here is to do it in less than two hours. Uh, I filmed all this in like an hour and a half so I probably could have spent a little more time but I, did, I didn't really need it. So I don't know man, I've spent way too long on this outro. I keep messing up and trying to figure out how to explain it but essentially it's a two hour film and I'm challenging Jylos and Raiji. So anyways, thank you all so much. Have a good day and peace out. Oh, I love you.